When it comes to product VFX, a lot of what you see online seems super difficult and sometimes even impossible, but it actually isn't. All you need to understand is the concept and the process. I saw this ad on Instagram and in this video, we're going to try to create something like this step by step. When working on videos like this, you may run into issues like people moving over your objects or cars or buildings or whatever in the foreground covering your CG objects. You don't want that. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deal with those issues. This year alone, I've worked on five different VFX videos for brands and I'm still working on one right now. So at the end of this tutorial, you'll have one more cool VFX video that you can add to your portfolio and learn more gigs. So as usual, we'll start with FSpy. In your startup file, you see a screenshot from the video. Just drag that and drop it in FSpy. Cool. Let's turn the dim off and change this from X to Z. Yeah. So find the Z axis and let it line up with the building. So like a straight vertical line. Yep. And the second Z axis also lines up with the building. Yeah. And now this is our y-axis so take the y and line it up with the road so whenever we move objects on this line it will move on our y-axis take the second y and line it up uh let's say with this line here yeah so we'll have this y and we'll have this z Great. So what we need to do now is Ctrl S to save. Call it whatever you want. Tutorial 3. Cool. Create a new Blender file and um, delete all this. Make sure you have FSpy add-on installed. If you have not done that, just watch this first VFX tutorial. I covered it all in there. So after you get it installed, go to File, Import, FSpy. Then find your FSpy project. Import FSpy. Awesome. Now you have your camera with the background image. Go here to camera, uh, background images and increase the opacity. Yeah. And also lift the camera up using G, Z. So the grid is somewhere on the floor. Yeah. So it's not under something like this. Yeah. Cool. Let's make sure this tool is clicked so we can move things like this. Nice. So the next thing we want to do is to basically recreate this floor as we have done before. Shift A, mesh plane. Let's bring it here. Now, if you move it on the Y axis, it should move down this line. Yeah. If you move it on the X axis, it should move the other way. Perfect. So let's bring it down until it lines up with this pavement. So S, Y to scale it. Yeah, you can see it's basically drawing our route for us. GY to move it along the axis. And if we go into edit mode and click edge select, we can click on this. Make sure this is checked and pull this in here. SY just to cover it up. Now we have this entire road. Yeah. So anything we put here would seem as if it's on top of the road. So in your starter file, you would notice that there is a blend file in there. You would find a model of the product and a model of a car. I'll tell you why you need this. So let's take this, just copy the product and the empty Ctrl C and paste it here. Ctrl V. Okay. This is huge. <laughs> we don't need it to be this big. So click on the empty, scale it down, bring it down. Scale it down a bit. Uh, let's scale it down a little bit more. Yeah, nice. So we want this to roll. We want the product to roll over on the road. So let's do a R Y 90 or minus 90. So when we do this, our product will basically be laying down. So let's make sure we are right on top of the plane. Now, when we rotate on the X axis, our product will rotate. That is what we want. So we want this to come down from over here. And if I move it on the Y axis, 
it moves along the road and if i move it way back you can see it's getting smaller and smaller just the way perspective works in real life so yeah so let's make it start from here let's say it starts from out of frame here press n to pop this out we need to create a y location keyframe so right click on y insert single keyframe now let's say in about uh how long is the video 10 seconds so let's say at 120 let's set this to 120 at about 120 let's pull this wife until it's on this other side yeah so at about 120 it should be on this side so right click again and insert single keyframe make sure you do it on both sides if not it won't register cool so let's play that back and see but we don't want it to have this weird interpolation so make sure you are your mouse is over the timeline hit t and click linear so it has a very straightforward interpolation we also want the rotation to work and not just the location so go to the beginning click on the rotation x rotation yeah click on it now this empty is the parent of this product so whatever happens to the empty happens to the product so at the beginning x rotation and at the end uh you can just eyeball this right at the end you want it to if it goes from all the way from here to here i think you want it to rotate about five times so let's say at the end let's do 360 times five yeah if you didn't know we could do math problems inside of blender so 360 times five we just write 720 for me so right click insert single keyframe let's see how that works okay first of all let's do the same thing we did here hit t and linear so the rotation is linear and play that back again yeah it's moving forward faster than it's rotating so at the end let's do plus 360. there's a way to get this done using drivers and it's the most accurate way but we won't cover that in this video this is just the easiest way to do it just to eyeball it so right click single keyframe again let's see how it is yeah now this looks accurate this is what rolling should look like so it's rotating at a similar rate at which it's moving forward so let's see it in the camera perfect good so let's go into render view make sure we are in cycles you will notice i added an hdri file to your starter file so let's go to the world settings color environment texture shadow plots now we can see we have our shadows here but we don't want to see this plane anymore so go here object visibility shadow catcher if you can't see shadow catcher it means you are not on cycles you are probably on ev so click on shadow catcher and now our plane will disappear but something very weird is happening <laughs> as usual I'll just go here render film click transparent perfect now you can see there are shadows that is now casted on the ground now when we play this back you will notice yeah from here it looks very good very realistic yeah shadows on the ground looks very nice it looks like it's actually on the ground but here comes the problem right from the beginning you can see this car is basically in front of the object so usually you will try to avoid this and keep your animation in the center but sometimes it's in unavoidable so you have to find a way to solve it if our product wasn't reflective we wouldn't have to do this but since it's a reflective product what do you think would happen if we had this product right beside the car we should be able to see the reflection of the car on the product to do this you don't actually need an exact model of this car and in fact you don't even need a model of a car at all if you want to do it the easy route you could just model something like this something mad simple <laughs> right and it will actually work most of the time people won't even notice but in this tutorial we would use the model of an actual car that i downloaded from cg trader so go into the blend file and copy the car also along with its empty then paste it here okay this is way too big <laughs> click on the empty and scale it down bring it here around where the car is meant to be yeah now go into your camera and your goal here is to line up these two when exactly do you think this product will be right beside this car i think it'll be around here like right here is, it's in front of the car and right here it's right beside the car yeah 
they are literally side by side at this point so we need our car to be around there so bring this car let it be right in front here yeah make the plane invisible and try to align the car i think it should be a little bit smaller yeah i think this is good now let's see our plane make sure we are not intersecting good i think this is great now the next thing for us to do click on this car if we render this out just like this we will see a shadow of the car on the floor we'll see a lot of things that would break the effect the only thing we want is the reflection we want to see the reflection of this fake car on our cg object so to do that let's click on the car the actual model of the car object and go turn off camera so we don't see it in the render turn off diffuse turn off shadow since the gloss is selected you would be able to see the reflection on your product let's check it out if you go to rendered view and let's scroll around here you should be able to see the car yeah you can see the car reflecting on the product if i make the car invisible it disappears yeah you see before this is how it was before no reflection at all so to anyone that has a trained mind it feels weird when you see a reflective object pass through something pass by something and you don't see any reflection so now we have the reflection it's a very subtle thing but our minds are used to seeing this work so that's all that is all we are going to take this into after effects to do the compositing to make it look even more realistic because right now it looks very weird because our product is basically climbing on top of the car <laughs> so if i turn on my denoise reduce my render to about 100 and hit render let's see you can see in the render we have our object and we have our shadow let's go back to where we can see the reflection of the car so yeah we have the window of the car here so let's render this out now you can see from the render that we have all we are looking for we need our object which is the product we need our shadow which we have and we also need our reflection you can see the car is reflecting so this is all we need to take into after effects to do very quick masking so we have our new after effects projects open first thing we need to do is to drop the background video so here is the video and right click and new composition from selection nice so we have the background video in here next thing we need to do is to drop our cg render fastest way to do that is to double click here then go find the folder where you rendered everything out and just click one image so if you render that as image sequence which i hope you did just click one of the images make sure png sequence is chosen here then import then you should have your image sequence another important step you need to take is right click interpret footage main and change this to whatever frame rate you used in blender i used 24 i think by default is 24 just come here yeah frame rate 25 fps cool the next thing we need to do is drag this and drop it on your timeline yeah make sure it's above you can see here it looks very very nice you can see the reflection yeah if you go back we can see the reflection of our car and it looks very realistic like we're actually there so for the masking it's actually quite easy to do first thing to do is to duplicate this background video so click on the timeline ctrl d to duplicate then raise it above our cg so we have background video cg background video cool so select the first one the one on top and what we want to do here is mask out this car using our pen tool so make sure you have the video selected uh go back here make sure you have your video selected go to pen tool here and just draw out this car easiest way to do it is just click just click 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 and just keep doing that till you have the entire car selected if you are doing it yourself um you should take your time doing it but i just want to get it done really quick when you are cutting it out please take your time <laughs> great now we have it all selected so dope now basically what we have here is a background um let's go to fits so it sizes up here a background your cg and then a foreground the foreground is just the car so we are taking the car and we are putting it on top of our cg so if we go back we see now it looks really good <laughs> this is how it's supposed to look like 
perfect now this looks like these cg elements were actually there and the reflection looks very nice look at the render i made before so in the beginning right this product came from here but the second set of products that came they were coming behind the car so they are meant to be behind so what we'll do is for this first set that was coming across up until here let's just delete this car so ctrl shift d is to cut an after effect and then delete this first part so in the beginning yeah we don't have a layer on top so it just covers it and then from the middle we have our layer on top so yeah perfect now this looks this looks really deceiving because when you see it from the front you're like obviously yeah you can just put the cg element then you see it come from behind you're like wait is this thing actually there so yeah it looks pretty cool that's basically it and you don't have to have an exact car model so far it looks similar so yeah that's pretty much it and there you have it guys like this video if you learned something from it today building a portfolio is only the first step in building a sustainable career in 3d but luckily for you i have a bonus tip to help you choose the career to jump into to make you the most money in 2024 click here to watch it